Well, look at that view. This is a late September view. Just beautiful. Won't be long and all those trees over there will all be yellow and red and well the view is just fantastic in the fall. And uh where you're viewing is actually the master bedroom in my apartment. This is the master bedroom window. It's a pretty good size window as you can see here. Um measures uh about four and a quarter feet by four and a quarter feet and uh it is a pretty large window every year I seal this window up and the reason I do is because this building was built in 1962 and unfortunately the window technology back then as well as being a little bit on the cheap side is not all that great and over time you can see that cracks have formed and you know little bugs and spiders can get in there's all sorts of problems so every year I seal this window up and uh, that's to prevent draft air getting through and uh, I also put a plastic over the window opening to cover up the entire window opening so that none of the heat from the bedroom escapes out of these really thin and believe me they are thin windows so if you live in an apartment you're probably faced with something similar you've got really thin windows probably live in an older building and uh, you know it seems like no matter how high you turn the heat up you've got just cold air it just seems like it's coming in all the time well I've found a trick and I've got all the stuff out actually for sealing up this window but I found a trick of using this uh, this plastic here this is actually what uh, you put down on your carpet when you want to paint putting it over the opening instead of using that uh, that duct uh, sealant or whatever they use where basically you just put it and you shrink wrap it over the, the glass I found that that stuff never really truly does work at least not in my case you may have better success I believe it's overpriced I got a roll of uh, 100 feet of this uh, painter stuff here for I think it was about 20 bucks and you know one roll of that uh, duct window winter plastic is just about that much and that only covers one window opening so I found that this is actually a better way for me okay now you are more or less going to be sealing up the window so there is a risk that if there's a fire or something like that that may inhibit your ability to get out but as you can see I'm on the third floor now well of course if there was a fire my kids were in the room and it looked like we were gonna die I would not hesitate to jumping out of a third floor window but you may not be on the third floor, maybe you're uh, you know, on the second floor, maybe you're on the first floor. There's always a chance that uh, you, know, you will inhibit your ability to escape. And there's also a chance that, uh, that uh, fire marshal or somebody may throw a fit about you putting a big old piece of plastic over the uh, opening of your window to inhibit you to being able to get out. At the same time, it is so easy for me to get this plastic off. And I'm going to show you how to actually seal up this window or how I seal up the window and the reason that I'm doing this is for two reasons number one to keep the heat in as much as possible and number two I am putting a solar panel in this window so you'll get some information out of this as far as uh, you know trying to save money on your uh, heating bill which is exactly what I do It'll at least show you how to uh, better seal your windows if they're paper thin like mine and old to keep the heat in as much as possible to reduce your electric costs for the winter because believe me after last year's uh, sub-zero average temperatures this is going to come in handy big time okay so during the winter months these windows just do not do a very good job of keeping the uh, the cold air out and the warm air in they're paper thin they're old so they're not sealing very well in the corners and one of my main problems is that air is allowed to escape and allowed to enter around the frame and the track. So what I need to do is I need to seal this up and use a temporary seal. And I don't want something that's going to be permanent where I'll never be able to open the window again. But the complex really won't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this clear silicone. This is meant for windows. You can use it in your bathroom. 
um, doors and so on like that. It's just a clear silicone. And uh, the great thing is is that it's weatherproof, so I don't have to worry about a humidity issue happening because obviously, you know, just like in your car when you go out in the morning to start it, you know, your, your windows are all fogged up. Well, the same thing is going to happen because there's going to be a dead space here when I have the plastic over here, I'm going to have a dead space here, which may, in fact, produce condensation. Now, I do have a silica can that I'm going to have in here, um, but still, I need something that's going to be able to hold up to the uh, elements as well as not freeze, so that means it's not going to crack. The sun is not going to, you know, make it crack or brittle or too... Um, too soft or anything else like that. So this stuff is going to work great. This stuff will really work great. Um, I picked up this on Amazon Prime for I think it was about five bucks. Prime shipped, and then the gun itself, you know, it was like a buck fifty Prime. It was an add-on item. So you know, I only have you know seven and a half bucks worth of material here, and it's going to make up for it in the fact that the um, the air isn't going to be allowed to escape. So that's the important thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a small bead where the window meets the track. I'm going to apply this bead all the way around the window. Just a small bead. It doesn't have to be real thick or anything else like that. Just enough that it's going to seal up the, uh, uh, the window just fine. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to apply just a small bead where the track is. That's where the window actually meets the frame so that it's going to seal pretty good. Now I only need a small bead, ever so small, just nice and small. It doesn't need to be anything that's going to be uh, really thick because I'm going to peel this away anyways when the, uh, the summer hits. Now this side is actually going to be more permanent simply because even in the summertime I don't open this window. So I'm not really too worried about this one being permanent, but what's great about this uh, this um, <clears throat> silicone is that it can easily be peeled away. So I won't have any problems getting this back out once it dries. So this is basically what I'm going to be doing all the way around. Okay, so you may be able to see I've completed the sealing. This is going to have to dry probably overnight even though it says it'll set in 30 minutes um, I'm just gonna let it dry overnight so I've applied a seal a bead some spots more than others uh, I'm not exactly a professional but it doesn't matter because this stuff will peel right off when it's dry anyways um, so I've applied a bead all the way around the entire window now now you can see that I've uh, shoved a plastic bag up in here into the track. It's because I didn't want to put an ounce or two of uh, silicone up in that track. That'd be a waste. So I just shoved a plastic bag in there and just put a little silicone underneath it right there as you can see. But I did this all the way around the window track, basically where the window is separated from the track so that it will make a really good seal. And I didn't use a lot. This is just enough to keep the draft out to keep air from passing back and forth and of course no matter how good you are there's always going to be a little bit of air that's going to pass through especially with these old windows but this should suffice this should be good enough for my needs so I'll let this dry overnight and uh, in the morning I should be able to uh, finish up uh, getting this thing uh, all sealed up um, here it is the next day and uh, this is a good opportunity with all of this wind that's going on right now. It's really, really windy out there, as you can see. Very windy. It's rainy. It's cold. It's only in the uh, lower 50s. So this is a perfect opportunity to be able to make sure that this window really is sealed. And by putting my hand in certain areas, I can actually feel that I can feel a draft right here, ever so slightly. And I was moving my hand all up and down the window and I couldn't feel, I can't feel a draft here there's no draft anywhere else but this one spot this one spot right here in this corner here I believe it's a separation here between the window pane and the actual frame so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more right there in that corner there that should fix that problem so it's a good thing it did cool down and it did start getting windy and rainy because I wouldn't been able to uh, detect that otherwise. 
Okay, so I've applied a bead right down here in the corner, and I'm not feeling any more air coming out of this at all. So that's probably what was happening. It looks like the frame has just separated from the window, so it's a good thing I was able to catch that. So now this is uh, should be, that is, uh, perfectly sealed. So I wanted to show you, if you're not familiar with silicone and how it works, this has been drying for about an hour and a half, and as you can see here, it peels right off. It does not permanently attach itself to whatever. It makes a really good seal and then you just, you know, just peel it away. So, you can see here, it just, it doesn't even take the paint off of here. It's, uh, it's really good. So, if you're, you know, wondering what's safe to use, um, well, this will work just fine. Um, so, in the summertime, when I go to peel this, it should peel right off in one big strip. So, hopefully, uh, that's an interesting little tidbit there for you. Comes right off just fine. Look at that. See? So, cool. So, when I actually get the window sealed up, I need to make sure that humidity is not going to be an issue. It's just like when you're in your car and, uh, you know, it's been warm on the inside. Well, then uh, humidity will actually form on the outside and that fogs up your windows and so on. So the same thing is going to happen with um, this room when I seal it. Uh, when I seal this window, there's going to be uh, humidity that's going to form on the inside because it's going to be warmer on the outside. So I have this. I got this on Amazon Prime uh, for 10 bucks. It's 350 grams of silica. And uh, silica essentially will absorb any of the humidity, the moisture and so on, that is going to be inside this dead space uh, of the windowsill. So I, this should do plenty. This was rated for, I think, uh, 100 square feet, which is uh, way more than uh, this window opening. You know, this window opening is, <laughs> you know, maybe 8 square feet at most. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the window before I seal it up and that should help keep the, uh, the, the, the window itself the inside portion of this window should keep it nice and dry and I won't get uh, you know water droplets forming either on the panel or the windows on the inside or anything else like that that should be a big help okay so this here you see this plastic right here this is the stuff that they actually put down on carpet or that you put down on carpet when you're painting and um, it's uh, pretty thin, but I'm actually going to be using two separate sheets. And I've already cut them. And essentially what's going to happen is they're going to come out about two inches past this opening. And it's going to seal the entire window. And that will keep a dead space in this window here. So that if by chance any cold air does get through this window, which I know it will, then it should stay inside this space here. It shouldn't actually, um, you know, travel into the room. Now, of course, you know, it's going to be cold plastic, so, um, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to keep all the cold air out, but it'll definitely help out a lot. Again, as I said, it could be a fire hazard as far as a fire escape hazard, um, but you would have to... Uh, do this at your own risk. I've been doing this for years and never had a problem and it's easy to get off anyway so I'm not really worried about not being able to get out this window. Even with this solar panel in the way I can still unlatch this window because the window is not blocked at all by the solar panel. So if I needed to get out then I still could get out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, hung. Okay so it's the next morning um, didn't have time to finish uh, last night so I went ahead and decided to start back up today and as you can see this is how I have the plastic up it is about 40 degrees outside right now it's real cold and I'm not feeling much cold air or cold anything off of this now granted when it gets down to you know sub-zero temperatures I'll probably feel it more but right now it doesn't feel that bad and what I did was I just used some masking tape around the outer edge. This uh, it's really thin masking tape, just enough to hold it to the wall to make a good seal. I did the seal all the way around, and then I used um, thumbtacks on the top and the sides 
to help keep it up so it doesn't fall off the wall or anything. Um, of course, probably something you were not going to want to do to your own house. They come through and they paint. After we move out, they'll come through and paint over this. So it's really not their concern, not my concern. It's not like I'm drilling huge walls into the wall or anything else like that. So this may be something that you're not going to want to do, but for me it works out just fine. So this is a pretty much a perfectly sealed window opening now. The panel is behind there. You can see its shadow. And then you can probably see the, the silica can that's down there. So um, as I said before, the humidity is what I would be worried about on the inside of this. So with that in place, it should keep the humidity down. So yeah. Um, so now the window is sealed. I can put curtains up or whatever else I choose to put up. And uh, that will be done for that. This is ready for winter and it should keep the the warm air in and the cold air out a lot better than just having a plain old window opening so if you have any questions let me know this is how I seal the windows and uh, you may do something different this has worked for me for years and years and years so it's uh, that's how I've always done it so if you have any questions let me know take care guys